Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Picks. So don't forget, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as please don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com for any updated eBooks I've uploaded. So without further ado, let's begin on spontaneous breathing trial criteria before you actually start spontaneous breathing trials on patients. These are the things you wanna look for. So the first one is you wanna see if they've had an improved chest x-ray, right? You want to compare their chest x-rays over the last few days, see if they've actually gotten better. If not, titrate your airway clearance to help them improve their chest x-ray. You want to make sure they're having stable ABGs, right? You want to make sure that the trending of the ABGs and comparing the ABGs from days previous are stable and reasonable. You want to make sure they're on low ventilator support, right? You don't want them to be on a high set rate. You want them to be on a lower set rate and you want them to be breathing over the vent. You want them to have a lower peep. You want them to have a peep of five would be awesome, right? We don't want to do an SBT on patients with peeps of 10 or higher. You want to make sure they're on low FiO2, 50% or less. So you also want to make sure they're hemodynamically stable, they have a stable heart rate, stable blood pressure, they're on very, very minimal amounts of vasopressors, and they have a reasonable hemoglobin greater than 7 or 8, depending on your institution. You want to make sure they're vitally stable, their heart rate, their respiratory rate, and their oxygen saturations are within normal limits, and they haven't been having DSAT episodes recently, okay? Also look at their secretions, right? Are they having a lot of secretions? Are they going to be able to keep a patent airway after the ET tube is gone? Always mention these things to the physician team before extubation. Make sure that the patient is able to follow commands. Make sure they're alert and oriented times three because at the end of the SBT test, you're going to be doing respiratory mechanics. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some other eBooks there you might like. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.